Let me just check. It's recording. Yes. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Rihan. I'm a medical student, and today's video is a little bit different. So today I'll be sort of comparing the resources out there for A levels, um, particularly biology, chemistry, uh, physics, and maths as well. Now, um, what I want to talk about in this video um, is basically a comparison between textbook, YouTube, SnapRevise, and Taylor Tutors. Now, SnapRevise and Taylor Tutors are both online courses. YouTube, you have plenty of online videos uh, to teach you you know different topics and you have the textbook which you can buy um, this video will be split into three videos because it I tried recording this and it was like 20 minutes long now in the first video I want to just talk about YouTube and the textbook and before I start I want to say that this is my genuine opinion so I've tried uh, textbooks I've tried YouTube uh, when I was revising for my exams and snap revising tailor tutors were not out when I was preparing for my exam so Basically, I tried it for two weeks, um, the full versions, and tried out the different videos, watched the different videos, sat through all of these different videos, and um, assessed what I thought of them. So this is my genuine opinion. Now, to start off with, okay, so we'll talk about the textbook. The textbook, the old-fashioned method, uh, you can't go wrong if you've got nothing else, okay? So the textbook goes through all of the information, um, in quite a lot of detail which can be a good thing and a bad thing now one thing I don't like about the textbook is that it's not interactive so say you know with YouTube at least you can leave a comment if you're stuck on something and if the the content creator is nice uh, they'll reply to your to your comment with an answer and, and help you out or the YouTube community will help you out with a textbook you can't leave a comment which is a shame uh, you can email CGP if you'd like but hmm. no one does that so that's the issue with textbook um, now YouTube is a lot more interactive the best thing about YouTube I found well, it was one of my biggest resources but the best thing I found about YouTube was that it's free to use and it's easy to access anywhere okay so anyone can access it it's free to use and um, there's a whole variety of video videos out there for you for different subjects now YouTube does also have its downsides um, I see myself getting distracted a lot with YouTube because of the recommended feed so I don't know about you but if you've ever started watching videos on YouTube yet yeah, and your favorite YouTuber just uploaded something and the YouTube recommended feed based on the YouTube algorithm gives you this on the recommended feed saying right a new upload blah blah, blah and then you click on it okay and then you're in like this loop where you're just watching these video after video after video that's one of the biggest problems with YouTube you can get distracted easily plus there's a lot of adverts uh, which I really dislike uh, about YouTube you can get around that with ad blocker um, but not everyone knows how to download ad blocker unfortunately so yeah that's an issue these days um, so there's that, there's also the issue of YouTubers not organizing their videos into playlists. Um, so it can be quite difficult fishing around for the right videos at the right time, um, making sure that they fit your exam board, etc., etc. Like there's organization issues, okay? So other than that, there are some great videos out there on YouTube. Um, and for you guys watching this, please, please, please comment your favorite YouTubers with the subject that they teach down below so that other people can benefit from watching this video as well. Um, so yeah, those are my main discussion points about the textbook and YouTube. Now, the next two videos I will be talking about Snap Revise and Tailored Tutors in depth. So make sure you watch those two videos as well. Thanks for watching guys. That's the end of this video. The next one, I'll put a link in the description. Make sure you watch it.